Hello, I've gotten a few questions about what type of video equipment I use to make my videos, so I'm going to share that with you today. Uh, the main camera that I use is a Canon HF R40, and I just use the SD card, so it has the 8GB of internal storage that I never use, but by getting one with a little bit of internal storage, I also got the Wi-Fi capabilities, which allows me to transfer files directly from my camcorder to my tablet, my iPad, so I can do video editing on the go if I need to. Now, the other camera that I use and have used quite a lot and still use quite a lot is my iPhone 5. So this is the kit that I carry around for my iPhone 5. I have a mini tripod, which cost about $18. And this is actually part of the case that I use for my iPhone, which is the Oloclip Quick Flip case. And I'll show you that once I attach it to the tripod. And then a lens, which also came with Oloclip. And I got the case with the tripod mount and the lens for a hundred bucks. So altogether, this cost about $120, excluding the price of the iPhone, but it's something that I use quite a lot. So the tripod is a nice little one, but it has a fully articulating head. So the legs have a little extender on each one of them. So you can actually get some decent high height for a desk mounted tripod. And then have that. So that's the desk mounted tripod that I use for my phone. Uh, this case is pretty slim line. It, it's a little slick in the hand but it works. This part flips over which is why it's called the quick flip case and that's so the four-in-one lens system that I purchased can just slide onto that part of the phone. And so it comes with a fisheye, a wide angle, a 10x macro, and a 15x macro uh, lens, which I've used in several of my videos. And so that's why I got this particular case for that lens to be able to fit on the bare phone. And then this can actually act as a shutter button. It hits the top volume button, which works as a shutter on the iPhone 5. And it fits into my pocket. But the main reason why I got this case is for this particular part which is the tripod mount so you can mount it on a tripod this way or this way if you notice the positioning of this particular tripod mount it's at the far end of the phone so it has more weight going off one side so that's why i like this tripod so much because it can still support that extra weight over to the side that's the camera and then i can just slip the lens over go up to video and then it becomes a fisheye lens and I can edit it directly on my phone using iMovie or on my tablet using uh, iMovie or Pinnacle Studio. So that's pretty much the video equipment I use. I use this setup for my iPhone 5 and then I use a larger tripod uh, with my camcorder and between these two I shoot all my videos. So by using my phone with this with the wide angle lens and my camcorder I'm able to edit together the footage from both my phone and the camcorder to give the look that I got in those recipe videos. So if you'd like to check those out I'll put a link in the description below and I will see you guys next time.